What is up, Internet? Luke is Sports here, and we are actually doing this. We're playing Minecraft. Yay! Um, I've been actually playing a bunch of this in my free time, but I figured I kind of want to turn this into a mini series on my channel, and you know, my channel has been lacking content recently, so and it also gives me a chance to interact with y'all, get ideas, but. Uh, as you can see behind me, I got a village going on. I'm gonna say hi to these villagers, make my own home, and uh, this is pretty much what this first episode is gonna be about. It's just building my home and making peace with these guys. So uh, let's get down right to it. Alrighty. Ooh, foods. Gotta have some foods. Nothing gives a friendly greeting but like stealing their their food. Kill all. Oh. Alright, got a nice little farm here. Nice to meet ya. Hey, how's it going? Lucas Ford. Hey, how's it going? Lucas Ford. Meat. a nice peaceful village all thing I little oh I'll beat him up with my chair oh sorry ow dude no we are calm oh hi there Mr. Turtle how are you doing today yeah you doing okay for those of you wondering yes I got I customized my own skin uh, Here's what the back of it looks like. Has the little LY. Nice little green hoodie. And yeah, kind of make it designed to look like my little penguin character that I decided to create. The reason why I decided to do the penguin persona is because that's what my logo looks like. I didn't really base it off of anything when I created it, but my wife says it looks like a penguin, therefore I'm a penguin. So if you see me as a penguin, my thumbnails from now on, that is why I is penguin. Alright, this is take two of me trying to get, say hello to friendly people. I got shrimp and rotten flesh. I wasted all those carrots already. Hello. Awesome. What do you do? What's inside here? Ooh, what's in here? You know what? I'll take that. I'll take your leather cap. Yeah. I wear it just as a sign of I am part of this village. Hello. Hey, buddy. Hi. Ooh, dibs. Lots of zombie death is happening, so... Yep. Mr. Cartographer, how you doing? What you got cooking over here? Some bread? Alright, don't mind if I do. What do we got here? Nice, nice. Yeah, I can dig it. Some seeds going. Yeah. Essentially, I ow. I'm essentially I'm looking for a place just to, you know, build my house at. Got a nice little kitchen going on in here. I don't know who lives here, but they're door Hello. Ow. 
I wonder are you? Welcome back. Fletcher? What is that? Oh, okay, you make bows and arrows? Neat, neat. Alrighty. I've come to the conclusion that this is going to be my island, you know? This peninsula little thing is going to be, it's going to turn into an island, and this is where my house is going to rest. And it's going to connect to that bridge over there. So, uh, with, with the power of editing, my house and the island will come together. Let's do this. Alrighty, I am no longer homeless. I kind of cheated a little bit, went into creative mode, decided to get my own house thing going. So uh, that's pretty much going to be the point of this video. As you see behind me, you see Taiga Village. Nice piece of little village doing their own things. Didn't want to disrupt them while I was building my house, but I noticed if you look across the way, bam! That's Ford's Island, and I am about to give you the grand tour, so let's get to it! So built this little deck here to connect the islands between Taiga Village and Boards Island. And uh, me being a penguin and all decided to design the outside interior as an igloo. Kind of built more of a pyramid shape but still an igloo nonetheless like y'all kind of understand. Use quartz for the rock I guess just because ice melts and I can't put torches and shit on there so. I thought it was pretty neat, but uh, yeah, I got a nice little sign that says welcome to the board's house and you get a free Wuggles every time you come in. So uh, let's come, let's get in. So here I got the living space. This is pretty much what I have built. Um, I don't know what I plan to do. I kind of want to plan to build an upstairs for something else, but as of now, this is, this is all I got. Like I got carpet going on here and uh, I'll probably like build another room right here and then build a second floor, but you know, like I said, it's just a working start. I wanted at least a place to live, so you can walk over here. You've got the board's kitchen. And over here you got all the stuff that you need to make, because that's what a kitchen is. You used to make food and survival stuff. I got the stuff to cook all the food with. I got blast furnaces to help me uh, cook all the ore and stuff. Got my stone cutter in case I want to make some slabs for like a stairs or something. Got my crafting table, obviously that's to, you know, build other things. Potion brewing set up right here in case I want to brew some potions to cause some mayhem later. And then you gotta get some storage for your food and stuff. So I got my seeds and uh, saplings and I'll expand my island too to make a little like garden and stuff. But as of now, this is, this is a nice little kitchen. Got a nice little view outside. You can see a little squid swimming in the ocean right there. Now in here is probably a room that I think is probably going to end up being my favorite. But as of now it's my second favorite. And this is the library slash cartography room. Got my enchanted table to enchant my things. Got some nice little books because I like reading. And also I like windows with a view of things. and. Kind of get the best of both worlds here, like you read, oh bam, view right there. Got my storage chest for papers, because this is also the cartography room with the table. Got the maps and shit right here. Right now I only made one locator map with the house, and bam, there it is. On to the next one. Here we got the boar's nest, this is where the magic happened, and by magic I mean, um, yeah, this is where I sleep and catch some Z's and avoid the terrors of the night as of so far. But yeah, you get a nice, nice little view. You just saw a sea turtle just plop itself in the ocean there. It's pretty neat, which I kind of enjoy. Got a window to the side here, as you can see a drowned person, two drowned zombies, and some and a llama just chilling there. I don't know. That's I live in a weird neighborhood. That's that's just how it is. 
Now here is something I'm actually kind of proud of that I like to do. It's called the board's closet. You open the door, bam. And if you notice the green and purple bed, the purple is for my wife, Manny is sassy, and this is closet's kind of dedicated to her. Got her YouTube colors going on. This is gonna be like where I store some weapons and some armor. As you can see, the leather helmet that I got earlier is already on this armor stand, so this is the stuff. But if you go down here, colors change to my YouTube color, so this is gonna be my side. Got some ender chests here for mostly rare items that I want to put in that I'd rather feel more safer here. And we got more armor stands for like I, I think I'm gonna put like more enchanted stuff there for now. But as you can see here, I got a little bit of scaffolding because here is my favorite room that I've created so far. So we go down. And bam, we got the boards layer. So this is pretty much just gonna be a chill room. You can chill and look at the ocean wildlife underwater. This is because we are on an island. You can see, you can see a drowned zombie just doing this whole thing, looking for prey. Occasionally, especially like during the tide time, you'll see some fish swimming and stuff like that. The floors made entirely of sea lanterns, which I really like. Same with the ceiling because I like the design and textures of it, and it's pretty nice. And uh. Yeah, nothing too fancy, just a start. It's pretty much what is going on in the boar's nest. I might, and I'm also going to record some stuff. And by the way, there's this weird glitch that's going on where, like, if I log in, it restarts my world. I don't know why. I think it's like corrupted files or whatever. So if you see me record in the future, my igloo is entirely gone. That's why it glitched and I couldn't fix it. But I've been trying to be careful for that. But yeah. And so that is my house tour, my cribs, and I guess the first episode of this. So if you have any ideas of something you want me to do, it'll also give me a chance to have me communicate with my community and see what they want and kind of start of a new interactive series here. So if you got any ideas, just comment down below and I'll post the idea in the episode of what we're going to do. So yeah, like I'm bored, so I need something to do. Help me discover what is kind of unique and interesting in the world of Minecraft because I'm kind of new. I don't know what I'm doing. So, yeah, enlighten me. And uh, as the series progresses, it's going to be more fun. So, yeah, comment down below what you want me to do. And I'll probably do it just for the sake of entertainment. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, uh, later.